Hey there, this is Kelly Landrum from True North Social. We're Shopify experts in the Los Angeles area. We work with quite a few merchants, uh, mostly in clothing, accessories, jewelry, that kind of thing. Um, but really, uh, we work with merchants that have all sorts of different products. But we are Shopify experts. We do most of our work on Shopify, so we've created some video tutorials to help uh, our clients as well as anybody else who's interested in running a Shopify store learn a little bit more about how it works um, and how they can do things, as well as some just general e-commerce concepts. Today we're going to be talking about Shopify's collections. Now, Shopify has created some very powerful tools for collections to help merchants uh, better merchandise their products, to be able to sell a little bit more effectively, um, to be able to organize different types of products uh, or different ways that their customers might buy them. Now, uh, the basics of collections, if you're not super familiar with this, is uh, collections are a way to organize products. Very commonly see stores with a menu that says something like shop, and there are collections of things like shoes, uh, shirt, suits, t-shirts. <laughs> um, depending on what kind of products you offer, you'll very likely want to categorize them into collections. Uh, when you go to a collection page, you will generally see the title of the collection somewhere on the page and you'll see a series of products that are in that collection. Shopify also offers the ability to sort um, by a few different things uh, or browse by a few different things. Um, we can set the defaults for these and uh, customers can pick them based on whatever they like. Uh, but this is the basics for of the front end, uh, what a customer will see when they go to one of your collections. Now, how do we set this collection up? Well, let's take a look at that. So this is the admin of my Shopify store. Uh, this is the dashboard, which I'm sure you have if you have a Shopify store. And over here in the left-hand menu, we have products. And if we click on products, we'll see collections appear. Now, uh, in order to add products to a collection, you have to have products in the first place. I'm going to assume you have some products set up. If you're not sure how to set up products, uh, go to truenorthsocial.com uh, slash blog. Take a look at our blog, and we created a video to, that shows you how to set up products. Uh, you can watch that, learn how to set up products if you're not sure about how to do that. It takes a while, so I'm not going to go over that here, but this is our products menu. Um, and over here on this side, you have collections, so we're going to click on that. We're going to uh, click on the Create a Collection button over here. So we can create a new collection. We're going to see what we have. So this is our page to set up a new collection. Every collection will need a title. You cannot publish a collection without a title. So I'm going to give this collection a title. Um, I'm going to show you the basics right here of how to set up a manual collection. That is a collection where you manually add products to it and you manually sort them. It's a very basic kind of collection that almost every merchant will want to have at least one of. I'm going to call this one my favorite, favorite things, right? And uh, I'm going to give it a description. I'm going to say uh, my favorite items on my store. You can be a little bit more descriptive when you create an actual collection. Now, uh, if, since I want to create this collection to be a manually selected collection, I'm going to click this little radial button that says manually selected products, right? And uh, that is going to give me the ability to manually select my products. Now, here, here's a little bit of a tricky part. How do I add them? Well, I have to save my collection first. So I'm going to hit the save button. And now, oh, lo and behold, I see products here, and here's a field to add some products. So I'm going to click in here with my mouse, and now I see a collection of product, or uh, all the products that I have created within my Shopify store. Now I can just click on these to add one, and I'm going to have to, there we go. Uh, now I see there's a belt. Uh, let's say I have a lot of products, and I want to search a little bit. 
I'm gonna say, oh, I want, I think I have a Nike in here. Yeah, I wanna add Nike running shoes. That, uh, that sounds like a good one. Let's see, what else do I wanna, oh, I wanna add this cool t-shirt. And let's see, what else might I wanna add? Oh, let's add a suit. I like all these things. Um, how about a uh, cold brew? It's a random collection, but this is my favorite things. So these are all things I really like. That's really great. Uh, so, okay, now I have a couple of products selected uh, for my collection. You can see here's my search engine listing preview. These are auto generated by Shopify. It's taking the title that I have specified up here and making that uh, the title of my page. Uh, my URL is also appended with the title of my page and my, my SEO meta description is taken from here, from my uh, on-page description. Now, if you wanted to uh, edit this, you can click edit SEO and you can edit any of these things if you like, but you don't have to. You can just leave them alone even when you click edit SEO, which I'm gonna do for now. Um, up here on the right, we have sales channels. Uh, by default, I think it'll add it to all your sales channels. You can click manage if you want to remove some. I'm going to say I just want this collection to be on my online store. Hit done. If you want to add images to your collections, you can upload it. Pretty easy, pretty simple, pretty straightforward stuff. So I'm going to save that. Now, where is my collection on the front end of my store? Well, I haven't added it. <laughs> It's in my main navigation yet. So how do I see this collection? Well, there's this handy dandy little view button. So I can click that. And now it's showing me my collection. So I can see True North Social up here. I can see my favorite things is the title of my page. This is my description. These are the products that are in my collection, one after the other, right? So, um, I can look at this on the front end and okay, that's great. Now, I just said, oh wait, you know what? I really want this suit to be first and maybe the t-shirt. Let's go back and rearrange those. Oh, well, how do I rearrange those things? There, can I, well, okay, so here's the trick. See sort. Currently this is sorted my items by best selling. So I need to click on this and pick manual. Now, once I pick manual, I can see there are these little dots next to my products. And uh, these will allow me to just drag and drop to reorder my products. Really easy, really fantastic user experience. You know what? I think I don't want this, uh, this coffee in here after all, so I'm just gonna hit that X button. And it says one product remove. So that's great. So I'm gonna go back over to my thing here. Uh, nothing's changed, why is that? Okay, well, I need to make sure I save my collection. So I'm gonna hit save over here, right? I'm gonna go back over. Oh, nothing's changed still, why is that? Well, it's because I haven't reloaded my page. I'm not gonna see any changes to my collection until I reload the page. So I'm gonna click the reload button. And now, now I'm seeing my changes on here. That's great. Um, Alternately, you can also just close that tab. You can hit the view button again, and that will load a new tab, which in turn lo reloads the page again, or loads the page in the first place, I guess you could say. Um, so that is how to create a manual collection. Now, that's pretty handy, but uh, let's take a look at automated collections, right? So I'm gonna create a new collection here. A lot of collections that you'll want to create for Shopify are going to be automated collections. Now let's, let's take a look at what that means. Under conditions here, by default when I hit create, when I go to create a new collections, it's set to automatically select products based on conditions. Now this gives me some options to create a collection based on logic, right? Products must, must match all conditions or must match any condition, right? And then I can say, uh, create this collection if uh, the collection meets these certain requirements or meets any of these requirements. So let's say any, right? So uh, I could say product title, I could say product type, I could say product vendor, I could say product price, 
product tag, compare at price, weight, inventory, stock, and then I can say is equal to, is not equal to, greater, less than, contains, ends with, right? So there's a lot of powerful features in here. So let's talk about, uh, for a second, let's say I wanted to create a product, uh, I want to create a collection that is um, based on products that are over a certain, products that are under a certain price. So let's say I want to create a collection called, uh, called under $20, right? So that's a uh, great value products under 20 bucks. Great for gifts, right? Pretty common one for the holidays. So now, I let's say for the sake of argument, I had a thousand products, right? This would take me a really long time to manually figure out what products I have that are under twenty dollars, right? So I'm going to say uh, I want to select products that are. Uh, based on product price, and they are less than $20 and one cent, right? Because I want, actually, I'm sorry, under $20. So that means if my products are $19.99, they will be in this. If they are 20, they will not, right? Because the price has to be less than $20, right? So I'm going to save that. And let's see what I get on the front end. So now these are all of my products that are under $20. This one's $15.99, $5.99. This one's zero. I'm giving this one away. Uh, a couple of my products are set to zero. Different product, but you can see all of these are based on uh, things that are under $20. So let's go back and take another look at some of the things we can do. Uh, let's say... I wanted to add another condition, right? Um, let's see, what's another condition I could add to this, to these products? Let's say, I think I have some product types in there. Product type is equal to shoes. I have a product type in it. So this is gonna give me all the, I would say, shoes under $20. I don't even know if I have any of these in my store. <laughs> but, uh, I'm going to close this and let's see, that is, let's see, we got this saved. So this is going to say product type is equal to shoes. I could have just added a lot of things that are equal to shoes. I think everything is set to shoes. Let's try something else. Uh, let's say that, um, you know what, let's forget a second thing here. Let's say... I want to sort these things. Right now, these are automatically sorted. I want to sort them manually. I can create an automated collection that I can now sort manually. So let's say I want to bring uh, cold brew down. I want to bring a t-shirt up. I can do that. I can save. I can sort these things manually. Now I can go over here. I can refresh my page. And I can see that these are sorted manually. Um, you kind of get an idea of some of the powerful things you can do here. Let's say later on I decide I don't want to sort these things manually. I want to sort them by highest to lowest price. Actually, you know what? Nobody's going to want to buy the most expensive thing first. They're going to want to buy the lowest price things first. So let's do that. So save this. And let's see what I have here. Okay. Oh, no, I got... You know what? I want to get rid of these products that are $0. So you know what we can do to get rid of them? Let's add another condition and say the product price um, is less than $20, but it's greater than $0. Right? So everything that's 0 should be next. Go and take a look at that. Uh, maybe we might have to go over one cent. Oh, 
I'm still getting zeros here. Let's uh, make sure we saved everything. Uh, let's try to view. Still getting stuff for zero dollars. Ah, any condition. So this is what's tripping me up. Some of these products match one condition, but not the other. And we have any condition. So let's reset this to all, right? So now products have to meet both of these conditions. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to go back over here. And now we've gotten rid of that. So tricky little things. These are logic based, right? So we have to keep in mind what our logic is when we're looking at these. Um, sometimes if you can't figure out this logic, you've been working with a little bit, maybe you want to just start over, start from scratch. But these are the, this is the very basics of how to create a collection, how to add some products to it, how to create manual versus automated collections. And again, my name is Kellis from Kellis Landrum from True North Social. I hope this has helped you out today and feel free to give us a call if you'd like to talk to us about working one-on-one. -on -one. Thank you very much.